we are currently off to the observatory. And then if you go up on those stairs where all those yellow railings are and you go that way, you go up towards the bridge. Look at all the asbestos around here. There is asbestos everywhere. I don't know if this is too safe around here. Look at that. Check it out. Look at that. Corbsy and we are outdoors. We are currently off to the observatory. So you can see all those stairs behind me. I'll show you. We came from all the way down there. So all the way down there is the harbour obviously. We're going this way because we are going to the observatory gym to go and do a bit of outdoor workouts. There's a bunch of buildings being built around here. I don't know what they're building. We'll have a look though. Eh? The Armsden House. That's what the lane I'm walking through right now. That's what the lane used to look like. That way. It's all different now, everything's been changed. Oh wow, we can actually see in here now, look at that. All the building stuff they're doing in there. It's pretty cool. There's like a horse sculpture there, look at that. I've actually never seen that before. I wonder when they came in. What's all this? Yeah. It's pretty cool. Oh, those are bones and stuff from like animals. I think it's like a tiny little skull. Some teeth. Like broken shards of glass. What's this all the stuff they found in the dirt? I think this is all the stuff they've been finding in the dirt. That's an antique right there. It's smashed up. Damn, I wonder how old that is. There's so much old stuff. Old rock. That's all rust. That's like rusted metal. <laughs> Check that. There's more rusted nails and metal pieces. Some shells. More glass. Oh well, these are in way better condition old school teapot it's like a broken bowl I think they've pieced most of this stuff together some old silver are those bronze spoons? I think those are bronze dating from the year it looks like it's from that year very deep like spoon and it's got those hmm, 1800s sort of look to it and some more beer cans and stuff that's so cool that's wonder how old all that is. But it looks like it's from a very long time ago. Oh, there's like more in here. No way. What is this? There's a sign here. Probably can't see it very well from the glare. What is all this? Is this where they found stuff? I think they're like... Oh, it's like a cat down there. Metal cat and then a metal rat. Metal rat cat. It's pretty cool. What is all this? I've been working here for years and I've never seen one. I remember the last time I came here it was all blocked off. So. Check it out, it's more. Oh, that was porcelain? I think there's an old porcelain dolls. That's definitely going back. Porcelain dolls. Some more messages in the bottle. What material is that? I don't know what material that is. Some more like silver. More silver. More nails. Look at it all. This is all that they found. I think they found all of that in here. So, while they were busy excavating. Yeah, well, we're not quite outdoors, but we are indoors. But yes, that's the Byrne family. So that's their sign there. So if you want to pause that up and have a read to see why all this stuff that we're looking at is here, it's right there. I think they excavated all that, I'm not sure. But there's the other side. If you guys and girls want to pause up and read it, it's right there. Yeah, again, uh, there's three displays that I saw. I don't know if there's any more, 
We'll just quickly have a peek outside. We're near Cribs Lane, for those that are wondering. But yeah, there's only these two out here, and then that one inside. So there's another sign here, if you just want to pause up and read it. Very interesting. No one that did all that. I've been working here for years and I've never seen it like this, so it's very seems to be very recent, I'm not too sure. It's crossing the road to the gym like right across from us here, but I don't use it. It's more like a leisure, I don't know, rich people place. Alright, well we're getting close to the observatory, so it's going to get very windy right now, so bear with the wind if you can we'll try maybe if i move you this way it might be a bit more out the wind i don't know if we're more in the wind or more out the wind now but yeah i don't know what that place was called that we had a look at but it's on cribs lane for anyone that was wondering just pause on those signs have a read and you'll see what that's all about and i think we'll be coming past one of these like hockey soccer fields here it's very cool Yeah, let's have a look there, see? Right all there. It's like a, well it's mainly a hockey field, but people play soccer and stuff on there as well, obviously, like not the full field soccer, more like a half court, but they still use it, so that's all good. Here we are, we're pretty much right near where we gotta go, called the Bridge Stairs. see it so we're not going up the stairs we're going up that way that's where we're going so it'll get a bit echoey in here so we'll wait till we get to the other side and then I'll see you again Woo! all right obviously we just came walking from up there we are all the way up here now we'll see some people down there Got the trains here and the Sydney Harbour Bridge is literally right over there, so. This is where we are, the observatory. For anyone that's wondering, I don't know if I can get a good view for you guys from here, but we're just gonna go chill at the outdoor gym for a bit. Do some exercising. The gym is like literally right there, so. As soon as you come from out there, you just go right over there. And then if you go up on those stairs where all those yellow railings are and you go that way, you go up towards the bridge. Look at all the asbestos around here. So there's a lot of asbestos around. I don't know if I want to be gymming around here, but there's asbestos everywhere. I don't know if this is too safe around here. Look at that. Mulched areas. so many that is like five or six seven eight areas let's go for a walk through there i'll show you it's just eight i'm not going to gym around here there's, there's another one here then there's more asbestos here they're everywhere it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen seventeen of them Wow, it's more here, more mulch. There's another one there, and that's the big tree too. Hope it doesn't like destroy the trees and stuff. But there's the observatory. I'll give you a good look of it. Give you a nice good look of it. Check that out. right up here on the observatory we might actually do the gun some girls sunbathing over there i'm not going to show you that That's, that'll be rude that would just be rude there we are check it out look at that so this is the observatory just up at sydney so you come through the harbour bridge down there 
We'll show you, we'll, you sure where I came out of, and then this is the whole area that you get to see. And there's like a nice little cannon here if you guys want to see that. I'll show you to you. It's a nice cannon, look at this. Check that out. Cool. How cool is that? It's obviously not operational anymore. So how did you load that? All right, so you would spin the wheel, which would uncog that, and then they would unlock this to open it, put the shell in, close it. Then how did they fire it? Did they pull that handle? I think they pulled that handle to fire it. See this handle? I'm gonna have a look inside the cannon. Check that out. Something in there, just nothing, doing nothing. I think it's just a stopper, what's it called? Nothing. It's like a plastic bottle or something shoved in there. Anyway, that's it there. The Canone. I wonder if I can get up here to give you guys a better view. There's like a sign here. Check that out. Oh, that's all the people that passed away. He responded to the Empire's call the South African War. Well, I'm South African, so this is actually quite intriguing to me now. So what does it say? Erected by the South African Soldiers Association. But we'll go up these stairs to the observatory in a sec, and then I'll show you the view from like in that thing. I'll show you the view, what it looks like in there. I won't talk or anything, I'm just gonna put you on the front camera and then we'll walk up, show you and then we'll, we'll bail, go back to the office. Pretty cool. Alright, let's rock and roll out of here. Walk for walk past all the asbestos again. It's another view boy, is it? what everyone gets to see when they go for their runs and stuff around here. Every day. Hey! That's a lot of asbestos. Even though you can't even use that bench, <laughs> the bench has been mulched up. So, what if those people that were exercising around here, walking through here and stuff, got asbestos on their shoes or on their clothes, on their like towels? I don't know if I want to be around here. This air might just be bad. I don't know how asbestos works, but yeah. Anyway, we're heading back back that way because I'm not going to go to the gym. There's too much asbestos around here for that. I'd rather be safe than sorry. So we'll see you as when we walk back through that tunnel. See our tunnel right there? That's where we're going. We're going to walk through that, and when I'm at the end, I'll pick back up with you. All right, we're back. Let's come out that tunnel again. Those that are wondering. Boys are over there exercising, playing soccer and stuff again. We'll take this walk down. I'll show you how all this goes. Another exciting walk down for us. Check it. Look at that, huh? We walk past people's homes too. I think they're all like apartments. Apartments, it's like a walkway down there. More apartments, some shops and stuff. It's pretty cool. But that was the observatory for those that are wondering. Gym up there, all the cool views, the cannon. It's pretty cool, pretty neat, I like it. <laughs> some bonus footage in there but you're not going to see that 
was having an argument with the security guard down there because he was being a lazy bastard just sitting on his ass not actually doing his job so then how are people supposed to know that they're not supposed to be there if he's sitting on his phone not doing his job look at that well we'll be back in windy central so be a lot of wind look no skateboarding don't come here trying to skate all right lads I know it's prime skating territory, like, you know, some of the mag grinding spots, you've got the stairs, that's only a three step, you know what I mean? Like, it's a skater's dream, a three step stair for an ollie, come on brah. And you've got the tiny rail, come on brah. They'd be loving it. Well, we'll get down to the harbour, I'll just show you all the other cruise ship that's there, because there's another new cruise ship from the one you saw in the other video because they're just interchanging almost every day there's a new cruise ship and more tourists so i'll show you all what that looks like i did forget that cruise ship's name though but i'm sure we'll find out what the name of that cruise ship is once we get down there figure out what her name is again but i'm gonna go for all these stairs it's a smokers area people having a dazzer does he well most people vape these days anyway so you don't see that many cigarette smokers but i do admire them a lot more than vapors let me just put it that way um vapors like to get the disposable vapes disposable vapes are very hard to like recycle and a lot of them just end up in like the tip as like waste so what's going on is a lot of electronic stuff is being put in the general waste for like the dumps and the tips and they're not actually being recycled so there's like a lot of lithium and all that kind of crap that's in the soil right now in like a lot of the tips and dumps in australia because everyone chucks their vapes in the normal bin it's not like they don't recycle it like you would a mobile phone or something like that which i think you should because there's a lot of electronics it's like batteries and stuff involved in it so we'll go this way so we can go to the zebra strip and we'll walk across everyone's on their lunch breaks having foods I, where are they i don't even know which restaurant serves all these people i think it's called fortune of war yeah it's like sydney's oldest pub mm -hmm. Joke. What do you call a pony with a salt throat? A little horse. It's just a little horse. It's a nursery walk over there. I don't know what nursery it is, but we'll do the nursery walk next time. Take us back to the cruise ship. Show you the cruise ship, and then that'll be me for the day as I have to go back to the office and go do the rest of my work for the day. Such is life. Share it around with all your mates and all your friends. Exposure is the main key right now. That's how you get ahead. Everyone chilling, having their lunch breaks, man. I'm just walking around at night. That's all I'm doing. I'm walking around filming for you guys on my lunch break. It's all the spare time I really have. Go show you this cruise ship, but yeah, like I was saying, it's oh shit, that's windy. Might might put you out of the wind real quick. But like I was saying, it's uh, another cruise ship right there. Look at it. I'll take us for a walk there, so you just can see it. But she is massively windy today, so you go and straighten the wind now. We don't have anything to block us from the wind, so. Yeah, I'm wearing the hat today by the way for those that are wondering because I've been sick and tired of wearing the sunglasses while I'm trying to talk to you so I don't have to squint as much I'm still squinting obviously a little bit but I think like the sunnies are old they're a bit broken and they just look funny on my head now so yeah so she's called the resilient lady sponsored by Virgin Airlines look at that so she is nowhere near as big as the one from yesterday. She's like half the size, I think. The one from yesterday was like twice the size. 
That one's a baby. It's like a little baby, that one. But uh, yeah, I think the next step will be uh, chartering a deep sea fishing boat. We're gonna go deep sea fishing and stuff. I will find another outdoor gym so I can show you the, an actual functioning outdoor gym, not one covered with freaking asbestos. <laughs> There's asbestos everywhere around there. Not very safe for any of us, especially like since you're up there and you're like, you're gymming, you're obviously breathing in more oxygen. You need to feel, feel the gain. You can't do that with asbestos around in the air, so stuff that. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that ship, so we'll see you all in the next episode. Uh, remember the old usual stuff. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you have not seen my previous video, go and click on this link right here. Click down here to subscribe. Subscribe now. It's 85% of you. 85% of you not subscribe. So get onto it. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything, but helps me out quite a lot, and it'll be much appreciated. Ow!